call in Sander films. Made possible by Kendama USA. set off on an adventure to try to bring Kendama to the top of Denali. I arrived in the beautiful Talkeetna, Alaska with a lot of fitness and a dream. The goal of playing Kendama on the summit would symbolize how far this game and community has come. What's up Kusa fam, it's Colin making an adventure out here in Alaska. About to have some fun. I got my permit from the National Park Service, which is a little complicated. Then we met up with the rangers for a climber's orientation. I'd be climbing on the west buttress, the easiest and most popular route, but I was climbing by myself. To keep the mountain clean and leave no trace, you have to pack out your poop. We packed up our gear at the weigh station, and everyone's allowed 125 pounds. We flew with Talkeetna Air Taxi and the legendary pilot, Paul Roderick. I mean, the weather's about to change. I'd be skiing, climbing, and playing kendama in one of the most remote locations I'd ever been to. Combining three of my deepest passions into one awesome adventure. Kendama is something I'd never leave behind on any adventure. It helps me tap into my natural flow state. Seeing the Alaska range from the air and Denali itself was absolutely mind-blowing. Glaciers, peaks, open sky, dramatic ridgelines and steep faces. I landed on the glacier with about 18 days of food and absolutely pristine weather. As soon as the plane left, I started to feel pretty alone. Teeing off. I'd give myself up to 21 days to summit in case of extended bad weather, but figured it would go faster. I plan to play Kendama along the way and see what happened. It begins. Starting to head out. You use a tow sled to haul your gear across the Cahiltona Glacier. It got really, really quiet. So crazy right now. What up, Kusa fam? It is Colin Sander out here in Alaska, getting this expedition going. Let's we'll see what we can do. I'm really out here, completely by myself for now. This is insane. I made it to my first camp and enjoyed the views.
dialed. You see the wisdom, it don't come from reading. It comes from believing. What I know Time to session. That I don't know. And now I dance and I sing and I live full. I give it all to the call of the unknown. What I say is that I don't say. And now I rest no stress in the holy name. Shout out to Logan and Dave. Let's go. Steady in the vision. Oh, child, I lay you down with the joy I'm bound in. String and sound it, and all the colors well they enter. There's no need for defender. This is just you see too the answer. Epic. I am no more seeking, only love I'm keeping. What I know is that I don't know, and now I dance and I sing and I live for. I give it just another day in paradise. I got moving up the glacier to the next camp. Getting higher up. The views and the colors were already getting pretty awesome. Have you ever seen anything so honed in your life? Hot strap ready. On day three, I made the big carry from 11 to 14. Oh yeah. Big haul. Starting to work my way up. It's a slog, but it is absolutely wild. The 14,000 foot camp was another world. 14 camp looking good, got some fresh. I did split up part of the carry, so I had to go back and get my backpack. A little bit of new snow. Take that. <laughs> All right. Getting a little tough to see. White out vibes. Oh yeah. I took the long road. He got so sweaty today. That ain't good. All right, here we go. Fourteen thousand feet. In the tent.
All right, it's time to get some skiing in. June 6th, we're officially out here under the main face. Everything's looking good. About to drop in for my first run in Alaska on Denali right now at about 15,000 feet. Views are insane. I couldn't believe it was sun shirt weather. Round two. I made some nice turns and got back to camp. Awesome out right now. As good as it gets. I made my first acclimatization hike the next day. Here we go, baby. Today's the day. Got some new snow. Good vibes. All right, Kusa fam. It's the real deal. I'm making my move. Heading up for the top. Oh my God. Just skidding up that. Six lines, take the ridge and up to the top on the 16 ridge. <laughs> well, fam, got super close, but just too cash to really try it safely today. So I gotta call it right now. Oh man, so destroyed. All right guys, everything is really dialed from my summit push. Gonna send it out. It's gonna be tight. For my summit try, I was packed and dialed the night before and got to bed early. Nothing quite like it. Sunrise at 16,000 feet. Mount Forker. Looking out over the glacier was an absolute treat. Made it to the fixed lines. Serious crevasse right here. Oh my. Come on, baby. Moving up the fixed lines right now. Rangers put these in to keep you safe. 
made it to the top of the fix lines. That got pretty gnarly. It's super quiet up here. 6 a.m. on the ridge line. Feeling good. Working my way up. Up here on the 16 Ridge. Figured this would be a cool spot to film. Legs were feeling good, and I was stoked. On the summit ridge, it's kind of hairy. Oh my. I've never had to push so hard for anything in my life. Oh my god. The summit is insane. Ooh. Top of North America. Oh. Got a serious headache. Top of North America. Ooh. Had to push so hard. <laughs> I was super lucky to have sun, no wind, and the summit all to myself. Well, it's now official. We brought Kendama to the top of North America. <sighs> yes. <sighs> we did it, fam. We brought it around the world. Brought it to the highest peak in North America. This is ridiculous. I guess I should stack a clip. Thank you, Kendama family, for all the love and all the memories. Oshikame! I don't know what else I can do other than just be stoked. Kendama has taken me all around the world and we love spreading the joy, sharing the lessons that it can teach, the Kaizen philosophy, continual improvement, just keep working hard, trying your best. Love you guys. Let's go family. All right, it's been real. Better get down to civilization. Thank you to everyone that supported me on this trip and through my journey. This might be the pinnacle. Love you guys. Perfect vibes up here. No wind, sunny, crushing. It's just too good. <sighs> Gonna miss this place. Definitely cherished it. All right, let's get down. Last time down Denali Pass. I'm definitely not gonna miss this sketchy side hill. Absolutely destroyed. Just getting back to camp. 13 hours later.
Well, some final uphilling. Just dropped my phone in the snow. In a cloud today. Weather's closing in a little bit, so might as well head out. It's been awesome. Final moments in Alaska. Just soaking it all in. It's been real. Kendama has taught me that even though we all have failures and hardships, we can always continue to grow and improve ourselves as we move through life. You never truly reach a permanent peak, but can always strive for your own personal best, whatever that might look like for you. I didn't ski the line I had hoped to. It was a bit firm up top, but I had a feeling that I would be back. Last day of 14 was a beauty. Just got my last few turns in. It's great. This is the gnarlier part of these trips. Carrying a bunch of stuff down in a whiteout. Slugging all of this. Alright, we're mashing. Working our way down. Yee. This place is just wild. Having the goal of climbing Denali helped me grow in unique ways. This is insane right now. Super moody. Super quiet. The ridge. Goodbye. We made it to semi civilization. Yes. Bringing Kendama with me to North America's highest point symbolizes how far our community has come since the beginnings of Kendama, and that we've reached a broader awareness as a game, a sport, and a lifestyle. Ooh, that was good rhythm. A chance met Masa Misawa, a certified first dawn player yep. on the mountain. Oh, explain what Kendama is. In Japanese, you mean? Uh, in English if you can. But. All right, my name is Masa Misawa from Japan, Tokyo. And then this is the Kendama. It, it is actually Japanese traditional toy. I don't know how old it is, but I believe over the 200 years ago. It's, it's really fun. What does Kendama teach you? Um, focusing something. And then also another, another way is the physical you know, movement. Mm -hmm. They keep the core balance kind of thing. That's why kids really want it. And then also old people, also they can try. Special kendama for you. Seriously? Yeah. Honto? To take for the trip back. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's really cool. This pattern. Nice. Here we are in the Denali. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did what I came to do. I got Kendama to the top. I had an incredible adventure. I spread the love, made the art, and lived the dream. Oh, congratulations. 
Valero player, professional Valero player. I have to see a Valero trick. This is a Valero, Mexican Valero. Hey, y esto es la capirucha. Capirucha. Since we have the Valero champion here, he's going to get the kendama. Oh, easy. Nice. <laughs> We're still not sure whether Kendama or Bolero was played at the top first. But it doesn't really matter. There's camp. This has been unreal. All parts of your story and anything you are moving through at this time, whether it be the top of the mountain or the very base of it, anywhere in between, just to give you thanks to it, feel the support in this song, feel the support and the strength when we just give thanks for what's right here. Oh God, I'm learning how to do that. Another day, another white out descent, working my way down mountain. This has been awesome. Last night of the trip, last camping spot. This is friggin' wild. Really out there. Doesn't get any better than this. Feasting, drying out clothes, straight chilling. Last night. Well, this is it, friends. It's really the end. Planes can't fly. It's too cloudy. It's too foggy. So just post it up, waiting. Final pickup. Got my gear. Got the views. Base camp was a whole scene. People hadn't flown out for three days. Awesome. Oh yeah, and I met Nims. What's up, buddy? What's up? Met your friend over here in Denali. We out here. Wow. Saw Tad sat in the front seat with Paul. Thank you. It is a beautiful range in a beautiful place on this earth. Thank you for my life. I pray for more life. Thank you.
Made it back. Beautiful trip. Awesome. Loved it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, literally, don't go too close to this edge. Good God.